definitely the better version of it. Yeah. All right, everybody. Welcome back to the first ever Sooner Reviews. This week, we're going to be reviewing the movie Tenet. That's right. Not some shit movie from 97 or a really good movie from 2015. No siree. We're reviewing a movie that just came out last week. Today, I'm joined by Alex, James, Eric. That's right. We're moving quick, baby. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Get her done. Or are we going to move backwards? <laughs> So maybe we like already did the first time too slowly, so now we're going backwards to correct it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Make sure you put spoilers in here, because... No, we're not saying spoilers. We talked about this in the group chat. Wait, no, light you spoilers. Paying attention. Not even light spoilers. Light. I want to go no spoilers. Alright. We can do a spoiler review on the <laughs> later podcast. Um. Okay, Alex, when did you see this movie? Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> James, when did you see this movie? Uh, about like 15 minutes ago. No, the movie ended 15 minutes ago. <laughs> like Aaron, 20 minutes ago. When did you see this movie? I started seeing this movie at 6.15 Eastern. <laughs> I'm glad you said Eastern. Um, And I also saw this movie yesterday. So I think it's important, especially when we're talking about Christopher Nolan movies. What format did everybody see this movie in? IMAX. James. Uh, DL- DLX, I guess is the best way to Which count is it. the regional theater, Marcus Theaters version of IMAX, right? Yeah. And, and I had that loud sound. I saw it in the boom. best format, Dolby Atmos. More like lame Atmos. I mean, my head Dolby Atmos, too, I felt like it was too loud at points. Dude. Hell no. Those my brain was going to explode. We're fucking nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, it. I also saw it in IMAX, not Dolby, though. So, uh, Tenet is a Christopher Nolan movie uh, written and directed by Christopher Nolan starring John David Washington, Robert Pattinson, Elizabeth Debicki, is that how you say her last name? Uh, Dimple Capati, Michael Caine, and Kenneth Branna? Branna. Yeah, that's who that is. Um, The, uh, it was released September 3rd, 2020. Um... Budget of around wait, 200... The, wait, it hasn't been released yet? Oh, it uh, released overseas, yeah. This is wrong. Wikipedia got it wrong, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck Wikipedia. Re- it was released yesterday. I, I No, it was last week, public. wasn't it? Was no, it, it, it was early release, Last right? week. Last week was the... Yeah, was the United Kingdom like release. What yeah. Did you say? I thought uh, we I got early release. No, 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 no. For this movie specifically, we got it late. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So compared to the United States, only select theaters had early access. So for like three days, right. but everyone else is not gonna get it till later. But if you were in other countries, they uh, released it last year because their theaters were open already. Last year? Last week. Thank you. <laughs> I was, say, I was like, I don't think we're shit. This might be a later review of the movie. <laughs> all the a. If you're talking all like that. T- all the time stuff, All man. the inversion. Okay, <laughs> we're going to be, like we were just discussing, we're going to be as light on spoilers as possible, and then we may dip into spoiler territory for the last, like, like at the end. five minutes, maybe. And really, that'll just be to be like, oh, fuck, wasn't it crazy that they fucking... <laughs> um, so, the first thing that I want to bring up, and that I've been seeing online a ton, is the sound mixing. Sound mixing was fucking terrible. Dialogue in it was this jarring. Mo- dialogue in this movie was so difficult to hear. It was so mm-hmm. hard to hear in the theater that we were in. And it I didn't help that some of them had like accents. Accents, and then half the time people were wearing oxygen masks. So I was like, I, it was Bane all over again. Is what it was. Well, yeah, Kissing, and then. Uh, and then at points, you know, just the way people were talking was different without giving away spoilers. So like. You already were like, couldn't make out what was going on. And then you're like, wait, am I supposed to or not supposed to know what's going on? Because I can't really hear because there's so much chaos on the screen right now. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I would have loved subtitles. Dude, right? <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah. I was fishing for my remote, dude. Looking I mean, for I like, it. I mean, I already have subtitles on by default, but I don't really mind them. Yeah, I don't either. Like, I totally could have subtitles. But, yeah, but I mean, to... would it be like, blah, 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 blah? No, like, like Especially in the first third of this movie, subtitles would have been so important. Because by yeah. the 
in the last third of the movie, it was easier to understand people in certain situations. Where yeah. it was but like, I, Thank I think you. I think he did it on purpose though, because it's supposed to be jarring and quick, and you you start going. Because like, there's some things in the beginning that like, I'm sure if you rewatch, you'd pick up on, but you just miss it because everything's happening so fast. Yeah. Like he doesn't want you to know what's going on yet, um, because I kind of when one of the scenes happened like already early on i kind of like oh i knew it was i knew who the perpetrator was like I'm not i don't trying know to give that that's away. the word you want to use <laughs> no uh, you knew who one of the acting parties was but even that that's kind of spoilery <laughs> just yeah, a little so. bit spoilery yeah yeah um it's but, really hard to talk like, about this movie and not have spoilers though <laughs> i don't think so i think yeah. we can talk about general filmmaking things and then dip into the spoilers. Let me just start saying, dude, the beginning oh, is I nuts. I loved it, dude. It wild yeah. as fuck. The beginning, though, wasn't that the five-minute IMAX thing that they showed in front of The Rise of Skywalker? Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. So that's, I mean, that's been in the ethos already for a long-ass time. But that opera house scene was nuts. And it, yeah. like, what is it? Crazy. There's, like, 30 seconds of calm, and then the movie kicks off and then never slows down. It's like, 100%. it's it's akin to Uncut Gems for me, cause I was like, we're just like my crazy, nerves were crazy, wrapped crazy. the whole time. I was sitting like this the whole time. I was like, I fucking can't believe this shit is happening right now. <laughs> Somebody slow this shit down, cause I do not, I can't. Um, in this Dude, movie, does not know how to go slow. Oh, that like main soundtrack that keeps playing. Oh, so good. I agree. The, sound, the music was really, fucking really awesome. gets your fucking yeah. blood anxiety pumping. up, like you said. But like, <laughs> it's too because that's uh, Nolan movies involve you like investing a lot of like just concentration. So like when you're you're so focused that when things are kind of going on, that's why you kind of feel all those emotions. Because normally you can kind of sit back and relax. His movies yeah, you can't no really relax. relax. You're you're like in it. None, not so a single it, relax. It, in so this it movie. throws you off. Like so when things happen and then they jar you, like especially with the loud sound or the big action sequences, you're just trying to figure out what's going on. But because it's moving so fast and so chaotic, you're just like, where am I at right now? But I even feel like. Of the movies that I've seen of his, I feel like this is the most chaotic. Especially in the first third. Like, yeah. I, I mean, his other big thinker is Inception, right? I would say that that's... And Interstellar. Yeah, but is Interstellar even as much of a thinker uh, as Inception is? Don't they uh, kind of no. talk you through things? Yeah, through I would Interstellar? say Interstellar is easier to understand. Because it is Inception's easier to understand. Like, bro, we're four levels deep. We gotta go deeper, yeah. bro. <laughs> And but, like, half of Interstellar is easy to understand. The other half is, like, wait, what's going on? But, like, I get what you guys are saying there with Inception. The well, whole movie, even when it's over. Hole, you don't know about no black hole either. Shit, Nobody took, really knows about black holes. I took, I took physics. Hello? Yeah, hey, those cell towers easy. ain't no goddamn <laughs> <laughs> black hole. Get that 5G so coronavirus the dilation, dude. Come on, now. Yeah. Um, acting, I don't think anybody did poorly in any role that they were in. Um, no, dude, all. I was scared. I really liked the henchmen. Like they were simple, but they got the point across. They were so effective. Yeah, until they and I think until they were really yeah. bad, bad guys. There was I one think... time where I was like, the acting could have been better. When? When they were at dinner. What? How? I mean, that was a short scene, though. Yeah. Like what happened? No, it was like who five acted minutes. poorly in that scene? No, when it was just him and her at dinner. Yeah, who acted poorly during that scene? Him. Him. Well, it kept cutting, and he was, like, in a different position, and then when he was... I like, think that was purposeful, though. All those weird, like, um, inconsistencies during cuts, I think he did that on purpose. That, or it was a really shitty scene. Like, the second, like, the second director was, like, or Christopher Nolan was, like, yeah, hey, yeah, go film that while I'm filming something Should else. Be easy. Uh, I'm gonna film I some shit it, blowing up over here. <laughs> but, no, I think everything that happens in the movie is about a second watch. Like, I think these well, are set you, up. So do you know exactly... I don't know if you guys noticed or not. Not This is not a spoiler. Uh, John David Washington's character goes to dinner. Um, and during dinner, he's his hands keep from going like this, to this, to this, to this. And his hands are super inconsistent from each cut, right? So it cuts to the person he's at dinner with, and it cuts back, and his hands are in like a totally different position. Or like it would cut from like an, uh, looking at him, and his hands would be like this, 
and then when it was over the shoulder, his hands are like this. And he did that for the whole time that they were at dinner. His hands were totally inconsistent between each shot. Um, but even then, that. I don't think that's acting. That's an editing issue. Because the editor... I don't think it makes a difference. Yeah. It's just something you just I said noticed. said every shot mattered. <laughs> no, I think, like, uh, Nolan set <laughs> up <a> things. <laughs> I know he, like, he set up things to look back on. Right. Like, when you rewatch the movie. Um... But not every like every single little minute detail. You don't know that Christopher Nolan's a fucking genius. I mean, he could have. If anybody did it, it was him. Yeah, yeah if anybody God. did it, he did it. <laughs> um, um, but no, I would chalk that up more to editing. Because, like, John David Washington wasn't like, now, Chris, hold on. What if I did this? And then I did this. <laughs> and then I did this again. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think that's just the editors using weird takes. And then, like, nobody cared. Like, maybe somebody might have brought it up, and then they were like, shut the fuck up, John. <laughs> Let us do our thing. I mean, this movie's already expensive to make. We're not going to reshoot simple things like that. Yeah, like, right. Like, that's the truth. That's what it boiled down to. Don't waste the fucking IMAX film, dude. Yeah. Keep it um, going. Go ahead. But, yeah, I think the characters were, were solid, and I think the kind of the lack of dialogue from henchmen really, like, lead, like, it, it improved what was going on. Because sometimes, like, a lot of in movies, henchmen have, like, crappy one-liners or whatever, and you're just like, that's stupid. Yeah, this movie had no one-liners, I don't think. Yeah. I think this movie, all the dialogue well, was pretty I mean, deliberate. John David, John David Washington had, had some jokes. In there. Yeah, when? yeah. When he was beating up dudes? You're no, just, I... You're just snarky. Like, yeah, well, I yeah. can't call back to it, but yeah, it was just his, like... It's his, but like, it wasn't no fucking charisma. Though. It wasn't Arnold yeah. throwing a knife through a dude and then going stick around. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Some other South Americans, you know. Um, no, but yeah. Okay, so man, uh, who, I just want to say her, her husband, dude. So Kenneth Branagh's character, dude, holy he's scary as fuck. I was scared for my life. Yeah, I shit, I would have been too. Um, yeah, the dude was crazy as hell i thought he was gonna be a bigger man he didn't need to be dude I was well because like, she's so tall dude like, she was like <laughs> how tall is that woman she's like eight feet tall she has to be eight, nine feet. she's six foot easy dude i was gonna say Minimum. she was tall way taller than six feet and she was wearing heels wow half the movie. she's six foot three so she was six six in those heels though yeah because she was towering over dudes Oh, well, even the, the taller business. henchmen are her. They were the same same height with her heels on. Right. No, she yeah, was yeah. taller, dude. So she might have been. Yeah. This. So his um, cinematographer was the cinematographer on her, the Spike Jones movie. I don't know if you guys have seen that movie. It's beautiful. He was. Is that the, the one where he talks to the phone? Yeah, he falls in love with the phone. Yeah, I've seen it. It's good. Uh, Walking. No, Phoenix it's is great. Solid. The movie's great. It's going to show up on our interview, and if you don't give it an 8, I'll fight you. Uh, he was a cinematographer on Interstellar, which is beautiful. Um, he was the cinematographer on Spectre, Dunkirk, Ad Astra, and Tenet. And, like, some other... Oh, he was the cinematographer on The Fighter. Like, this dude is... The cinematographer has made some fucking gorgeous films. Um, that's what happens when you're good at your job. No they shit. Keep hiring you. Yeah, you ain't lying. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's really what it boils down to. <laughs> um... Okay, so, I mean, and this movie is gorgeous. Like, every yeah. shot in this movie is, uh, from everything, the color composition, the way, er, like, people are sitting in the scene, the way it gives everything space, and then, like, when it's made to feel tight when they're in mm -hmm. tighter quarters, yeah. it, like, the, the anxiety is ramped up there, too. It's just so good. So good. Dude, and I just love that Nolan does practical, dude. My man... Like so, that's that's one reason I I love seeing his films just because he'll he'll uh, he'll do something you know he'll, he'll blow up a motherfucking he, building. <laughs> yeah, he's not too reliant on CGI like most like directors nah. and just filmmakers nowadays is the thing. So and is that boat real? Is that an actual boat? That yacht? Know. You think so? Not the yacht. I know what a fucking yacht is. I, the speed the, like, boat shipping? that they were on. No, no, no. This I know what a shipping boat is too. <laughs> Y'all are. I mean, I you know what a speedboat is. There was they multiple all, boats, boats in this movie. Boat that they were on, not the yeah. the like the, the one that takes them to the windmill. 
No, not that either. The one, the one where, that takes her to the yacht. What? No, no, no. I'm oh, trying to talk about this. The, oh yeah, yeah, yeah Without yeah. spoiling that, anything. No, those are real. Those are real. I've yeah. never seen that thing before, and you're not rich enough. No shit. Yeah. Right. And, I'm, and I just haven't watched enough episodes of The Rich and Famous. Apparently, the dude, sailboat? he had that credit card. Not. Yeah, I guess you could call it a sailboat. That's what that I sh- thought it but was. That shit was moving. Yeah, like that thing was moving no, yeah, way those, too fast no, for a sailboat. Real. Yeah, they do. It's like uh, <laughs> you use those for like the sports now. Like before, they were like the simple ones or whatever. Yeah, right. The yeah, simple yeah. sails. But no, yeah, that's like some new age, like super. Expensive but the conversation one. they were having should not have been had on that boat. <laughs> it's such a weird time and place to have that conversation. It's yeah. so weird to me. Um, but I think he wants to. It's because he wants to keep him on his toes. And then he got kept on his toes. Yeah. No spoilers. No spoilers. Yeah, but like, Just know that in, people are on their toes. Home movie. Yeah. Home movie beginning and end. Is yeah, that because you toy? can't... Like Tom and Jerry that, type shit. Because I feel like in that Fred moment, Ponson. you almost... You, you can't, like, hide can't things. Because you're, you're, too, yeah, you're too worried about, you know, being in the moment. That you can't fake it. Untrue. <laughs> I've faked it so many times. Nobody's been able you ain't to never tell been on no boat it. like that. Shit, I didn't even know that boat was real. I was like, damn, this CGI is crazy right now. That boat is crazy looking. It's, and it takes three men to man it. You ain't even got two other men. Yeah, I was actually moving. Moving they moving hit the, the flip toes. to the other side. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Running back um, and they forth. were talented. So the acting, I want to ask a question, but I don't want it to be a spoiler. Then don't ask it. <laughs> don't even do it. This is why I'm not talking, because I'm going to mess you up. Just throw you up? can just say that you like things. Like, you could... Like just don't say like I oh, love I really the like whole the movie. way that they jumped into the time machine and went back to the prehistoric Man, age. Bro. All you gotta do is be like, all right, there's a spoiler. If no, don't, spoilers, don't do that. Jump ahead to here. No, because that's wait till the end. Yeah, because then otherwise you're like jumping between places. No, are, are we you're giving, giving me way too much work? Are we giving a rating? Yes, we will be giving it. Can a rating. I go first? No, what? I'm going Sorry. first. <laughs> Me. If someone then steals I'm mine, second. I'm a big Eric pissed. is going last. <laughs> oh. 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 Well, that means I'm going first. Oh, oh first what are you looking at, man? <laughs> um, I don't think it's a spoiler to say that there are surprises in this movie because every good movie has a surprise, right? Would you say that the surprises are easily guessable? The first surprise that when they come back around to it, I totally knew what it was. Okay. Like when you're trying to figure something out, when something's happening, and then <laughs> he states something about the room. Like, I kind of, I knew what it was. I knew what was going to happen. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? No, because I don't know what part you're talking about, but that's okay. <laughs> it's in the beginning. I mean, okay, but my question is a yes or no question. <laughs> yes or I- no. Yes, I think but they I were, was still surprised. So was I, but, like, they did a really good job of making everything, like, oh, that makes sense. Of course. Yeah. You laid out the ground rules from beginning to end, and so yeah. every decision that's made in the movie is like, well, duh. Yeah, that was simple like, enough for, like, to, like, guess it, but at the same time, it was still, like... I mean... Because some of the things I got, some things I didn't. And then it's like, when it did happen, like you said, I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense because right. of this, this, and this. Yeah. I, um, I but think... I don't feel like I was trying to, like, like the whole movie, I didn't feel like I was being stumped. I felt Me like either. half the time I got it, the other half, like, you know, I was like, oh, okay, I, I don't know why I missed that. I don't know why I didn't put two and two but together. That's not a bad thing, though, to, to not get stumped. No. Yeah. I don't I don't think so either, right? Because not that all means... of it has to be like, oh, Inception, did it, did it talk I mean, over it then? And <laughs> not everything needs yeah. to be like... Uh... Like mind blowing twists, like, oh fuck, this kid sees dead people, dude. Are you <laughs> kidding me right now? You know it blew I mean? my mind. What that the he movie. saw dead people? No, the whole movie. No, I I I think that <laughs> the discoveries throughout the movie are mind blowing, but I think that it's not like side swiping. You know what I mean? Half like, of it though, I was like, I don't think I'm smart enough for this. I had a feeling you were gonna say those <laughs> exact words. <laughs> Was she, I don't think I'm like, smart enough for this. Like, all the surprises, like, they may not have all, like, caught you off guard. You may have got them, but still when you put it together, it was still, like, crazy. Like, and yeah. you felt cool That's, for knowing it. It's an interesting it. take. Right, yeah. yeah. Like, this um, this movie made me feel like I had such a big brain. Because I was like, oh, oh, I get it. The little bits of dialogue that I can I actually hear, I get it. I can see the code. Oh, I'm beginning to I, I mean, I'm what? still trying to figure stuff out, so... 
I would love to talk about that after we stop. Yeah, recording. I'm curious what you're trying to figure yeah, out. Me too. <laughs> um, There's only like one thing I have a question on, and I don't know if it's like open ended where you have a different interpretation of it. Well, let's or let's do this. Uh, let's give our ratings. That should take a couple minutes, and then we can dive into spoilers for the last five minutes because we're at we're at 20 minutes on the stream. Um, Sounds good, boss. Okay, so I, I guess really quick before ratings. Uh, favorite part? Is there anything oh, not favorite part? Because that's a spoiler. Is there <laughs> yeah, anything that's that you guys didn't like about the movie? No. That isn't spoilery. No. It was just too loud at moments. No, it wasn't loud enough. I needed it loud. <laughs> I, needed it loud. <laughs> I need my Go chair to, to vibrate more. <laughs> Go to a better theater. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> my, my chair was fucking shaking. Wild. Dude, it felt like you were in a, a race car simulator. Your shit was like shaking. Yeah. Like this. You know it's what like, it reminded man, me of? It nuts. reminded me of that thing at Jack's that we went yeah, to. Yeah, so it's like those 4D <laughs> experiences where they're D-box? like. No, I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Where they're like blowing air on you, and then and they're like moving the seat, like, like the roller coaster thing. Yeah yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, man, they crank them fucking speakers. Up. They I almost would have rather ride. heard it in like yeah. regular like audio because it was a lot. Dude, I was thinking the same. Like an IMAX picture with regular with regular audio. Because man, the opening scene when guns start blowing off, I'm like, oh shit. Where's Dude, the nearest exit? I, I gotta find the nearest that's exit. What, that's what I loved about, uh, I saw John Wick in Dolby, and they they fucking cranked, cranked that shit up, dude. And when dude, people I, were getting shot, I was getting shot. At moments, I thought I was in, uh, the, the movie where they're at. No, kind of like The Matrix, yeah. I haven't seen that. Um, but the other Ron Pattinson movie, the black and white one, where they're, uh, the, li- the, lighthouse. the lighthouse. Where they're yeah. at the lighthouse. Yeah. Where they're at yeah. the lighthouse. <laughs> it's funny, because, like, where they're at the lighthouse, lighthouse. Yeah. Can um, I just say he has gotten old? No shit. You mean he Rob doesn't Hansen? look like a, a seventeen-year-old I mean, vampire? He's like yeah. fifteen years older than he was from like <laughs> yeah. Harry Potter and Twilight. I think he's a good-looking man. I think every so, man. This is the best Robert Pattinson, all right? Dude, uh, seeing this movie got me hype as fuck for the Batman. Well, the thing, I saw Robert Pattinson. If it, people need to watch his other movies, like you're Bro, not getting seriously. Twilight Robert Pattinson, you're getting yeah. this like indie film Robert you're Gritty the Lighthouse Robert Pattinson. Robert Pattinson. I mean, yeah, that's what, you should watch the Lighthouse. Yeah, Go check out our review. I <laughs> literally, he has like three other movies where it's like watch those movies and before you see Batman, and you'll realize how good he is. I think my least, the only part that I didn't like was Michael Caine's part, and that's because it made me sad because I had to come to the terms that Michael Caine's gonna die. Who was that? And he's probably gonna die real fucking soon. The, the that Englishman, man, that, yeah, dude, the, the guy who gave him the the ah, oh yeah, the one the at guy dinner. Who I wished him something at yeah, dinner. Brooks Brothers. Yes, yeah. it was at lunch when he was being really funny. That was I one wish of John he wasn't David in there though. Funniest scenes. You could have just said the Batman dude, and I would have got it. Michael Caine. That was my issue because I felt like I was in a Batman movie for a second. Yeah, and Yo, it took me out. Fucking give me John David Washington as Batman, dude. But that's yeah. that's his. No one north. Nolan That's North? That's Michael Caine, right? I don't like say... Michael, Michael, yeah. Michael, if it's Nolan North, you got a Michael Christopher Caine. Nolan. Oh, if okay. Nolan, Nolan <laughs> oh, yeah, North, if it's Christopher Nolan, not Nolan North. That's a voice actor who plays Nathan Drake. True, true. true. <laughs> Different dude. But no, like, it like, honestly, for a second, it took me out, and I was like, oh, I remember when he uh, Nolan had him in Batman. And then I'm like, not paying attention. That's terrible. No, I was like... What took me out of it is how he slurred through half of his sentences that he was saying. And I was like, oh, he's no. He's not going to... Hey, they had, a, they had a quick... They, he had one day on set. They had to get what they got. Shit, that man was lost on set. He was like, where's yeah. my son? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they sat him down in the seat and he's like, line. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're at the 24-minute mark, so... I think I found my new favorite actor, by the way. Who is it? The main character. Say his name. John, John David, David Washington. Washington. John David Washington. You've been on your computers doing shit, and you couldn't even look up the Wait, dude's did name. Did you not like him in uh, Black Clansman? She still hasn't seen. I it. haven't seen that. Shush. <laughs> he's really good in Black. So Clansman. now I gotta watch it. I mean, yeah, he's a stellar actor. He's yeah. fantastic. He's the son of Denzel Washington. Oh. Uh, so oh. He has good acting in his veins. Hundred percent. That makes um, sense. I think it's all him on natural. Making fun of you for what you're wearing. That's fine. Mm-hmm. That's fine. She wasn't here for the beginning, so it doesn't make sense. Technically, nobody was here for the beginning. So <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Yeah, regardless. Um, okay, so we'll go through ratings. Alex, what do you give 2020's oh, Tenet? I don't know if I can give my rating. I don't know if it's a spoiler. Don't what do spoilers. Mean? Okay, we're on a time limit, girl. Okay, I give it... 
Don't make Pin? it a spoiler. If, if it's not, I don't think it's a spoiler. It wouldn't spoil it for me. But I give it 10 suicide pills out of 10. It's not a spoiler. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't call it a spoiler. <laughs> I was like... Was just, now, if you this, went... If you, we'll, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that in like... But this movie has like espionage. Yeah, so like it, that's a, like not... It's like a spy like, thriller. So like... Yeah. yeah. Cyanide pills... I didn't even I didn't listen to your coming. number. It's normal. Yeah. 10 suicide pills out of 10. That's my highest rating I've ever I'm gonna given. I'm going to put you in a fucking psychiatric, psychiatric ward for 72 hours. Do it. <laughs> James, what do you give 2020's Tenet? <laughs> I give it eight and a half bungee cords out of 10. Ooh. Oh, oh cool. I like that one. <laughs> Eric, what do you give Tenet? Oh man, he's gonna do the thing that I was gonna do. <laughs> you want to play that forward though? Cause, uh... That's clever. Oh no, don't play it forward. Fuck it. If anybody wants to know what Eric is giving Tenet, play the video in reverse. <laughs> yeah. Is that clear enough? Uh, you can play it again. Fucking, I don't care. The audio was clear, clear enough. It'll... No one knows what's going on. Yeah. It'll be clear unless you on see. your oh, end fuck. too, though. Like yeah. it'll be clear. I can it, extract it. it. It 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 went away. Good, that's fine. Uh, I'll I'll crank your audio for the, just that bit. And I give 2020's Tenet eight out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because that's watch like, the movie and yeah, you'll watch know. The movie yeah, you'll understand. No, but if you're listening to this, you won't understand. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I I think I am gonna give it. I'm gonna give it eight and a half code words out of ten. For people who are only oh, listening, but who the, I feel I like eight and, and a half is a strong rating for this movie. I give it a give ten this, out of ten. I'm gonna give this movie a nine when I can watch it at home and I can fucking understand what people are saying. That's when this movie is gonna get a nine. Yeah, and when I put the subtitles on, hundred percent. I take the sub. But that means there's an issue with the movie. You're right. Maybe it's just. Do you think? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But but when I see the movie in a better environment, <laughs> yeah. more just, conducive uh, to listening. The theaters yeah. can't like turn up the. They can't. Yeah, yeah. Turned on bass shit like they that. They got no. EQ no I think they controls. get what they get and they right. throw that boy on. Yeah, they put the thumb drive <laughs> into the USB and then they let it rip. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. So from here on out, we're gonna do like five. I want to try to keep it at five minutes. We'll maybe do ten minutes of spoilers. So if you haven't seen Tenant, get the fuck out of here. Stop listening right now. And just listen later after you've seen the movie so that you can hear what we're talking Pause about. Pause it here and come back. Yeah. <laughs> after the two and a half hour thrill and ride. And then forget about us. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so spoilers. Everything, I'm going to put a big spoiler symbol here. Spoiler. <laughs> Sooner or spoiler. Spoiler or later. 